Autumn's here. Queen is joined by her grandson's wife for Sunday service at Grady Kirk as she nears the end of her summer break at Balmoral, and Theresa May's there too. She is nearing the end of her annual summer break in Balmoral, and the Queen was joined by a very special guest in the form of her grandson's wife Autumn Phillips as she attended a service at Craddy Kirk Church, Aberdeenshire, on Sunday. Her Majesty, 92, and Princess Anne's daughter-in-law were also joined by Charles, Camilla, and Prime Minister Theresa May. The monarch looked resplendent in an electric blue coat teamed with a white-brimmed hat as she sped through the highland countryside. Leading the convoy, she was closely followed by Theresa May and her husband Philip, although the Duke of Edinburgh, who last year retired from public duties, was nowhere to be seen. The Queen appeared to be in good spirits as she smiled at onlookers during the rare public outing. Craddy Kirk lies next door to Balmoral Castle, just on the edge of the royal estate, and the Queen is a regular presence at services during her annual holiday. Charles and Camilla also have a home, Burkhall, on the Balmoral estate and have been spending time with the monarch over the past few weeks. Last week, the Prince of Wales attended a glitzy black tie do in London where he was presented with GQ's Lifetime Achievement Award for services to philanthropy at the magazine's Men of the Year Awards. Last year the Queen departed for Balmoral in mid-July and did not end her annual Highland summer holiday until the first week in October. Her Majesty's last official public engagements were on 13th and 14th July, when she welcomed overseas visitors, most notably President Donald Trump to Windsor Castle. Queen Victoria began worshipping at the Aberdeenshire Church in 1848 and every British monarch since has worshipped there while staying at nearby Balmoral Castle.